Yeah, what up? Welcome to Zod's Vision with my co-host. Ball Savvy. You already know what time it is. Come on. We just wanted to get this in real quick because there is a lot of news that have came across our attention. You know what I mean? Couple weirdos, couple, you know, good acts going down. And which is funny, it's ironic seeing that one of the guys that in particular that we're talking about <laughs> is actually, you know, uh, allegedly took the law into his own hands. And, yeah. and, you know, <clears throat> and who we're talking about, that's Kane Velasquez. That's you, former UFC heavyweight champion right there. You already know he's beating the shit out the of the pride of Mexico. You, you know, know what I mean? <laughs> really getting it in. OK, so today the homie had shot me some. Also, I had came across it in my feed. It was uh, Kane Velasquez and, and the fact that he was busted for at that time. They said murder, which. Turned out to be attempted murder. Yeah, it got brought down. The wiener survived. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's funny because I was like, man, it just it just goes to show you no matter what uh, walk of life you have, you can always get yourself in trouble. Yeah, you would have never thought because you're like UFC fighter. Nah, nah, he's not going to be doing all this. Some people, you know, they see what, what's happening. They can't stand for it. Because what did he get? What is the alleged thing for? Uh, allegedly, he's busted for... Uh, uh, shooting a child molester. We'll say allegedly because, I, uh, from my understanding, yeah, he's we still don't there. want him to get. You know, what I mean? free Kane. You know what free I mean? Free Kane. You know what I'm saying? But they're, if he if he does get locked and he does end up going in there, I don't know who they're gonna have to. You know what I'm saying? Know, stab him up a couple times because ain't nobody trying to throw hands with Kane. Shit, and according to his charges, he would be good in the hood. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's that's my little thing on it. Is if you're shooting a a pedophile child molester a predator anything like that just just let him free <laughs> yeah. a little slap on the wrist give it you gotta fight fires in um, fresno or something that's, you know that's what I mean? it you know what i mean little community service if you think about it there's a lot of people that get away with the same crime that it, it but it's funny because they actually did it for yeah. a whole entire uh you know a different reason it seems like they're letting a lot of those people slide now they'll be doing all this like I'm not even getting controversial, especially if they're white. Yeah. You know, you get off of it, like, quick, easily. Most of the people that do these crimes, and we're going to get into the crime right now. We just, like, kind of letting it soak in the fact yeah. that he is busted right now. Uh, according to the news, it said that he had no bail, but then I read something else that said he actually was able to bail out of jail, which was a good thing. Yeah, if he didn't have any, man, they should have... He shouldn't be in there. Somebody gotta bail him out quickly because that's honestly i don't see it as a real crime like that like if you no. i gotta see more the the details but if you're killing one of those that's like light work that's nothing i'm telling you that but it that's how it is you know it's like uh it's just one of those things where where in society they tend to pick and choose and when it like i said when it comes to california a lot of these chesters are sliding through it's like nothing happening to them so I'm, yeah, I'm starting to think whoever is the one making the laws or the people in charge, you know, they don't want those laws come get a little too aggressive because it's probably a lot of weirdos in there oh, it is. doing some real, like, savage stuff. You you already knew California was going downhill when you had uh, Governor Mayor Newsom or whatever uh, state that, you know, somebody at, we'll just say at eight. I know it's, I think the, it's a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. it might actually be eight. You know, you never know with these damn these weirdos but they that they should be allowed to have sex changes which we're not going to go into too much about that we're just giving you Ooh. a general idea <laughs> look at all this epstein island stuff i know that kind of got swept Democrats. under the rug people are not looking into that but you're like man all these people are either political or super famous so it's like it seems like the people like that are getting off just like that's why they're they're, they're they're literally you know, I have nothing against the freak. You know what I mean? But it, they're literally trying to Let's turn. Let's keep it above age, yeah. though. No <laughs> you, throwing, no pedophile <laughs> smoke. No, none of that type yeah, of stuff. It, it, you know, we 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 make jokes about it, but yeah. not necessarily making jokes towards the people that have been victim to it. But it just we laugh at the individual that continuously stay in power after they did all this horrific shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, That's I'm just laughing how corrupt it is. I'm yeah. like, man, like it, people are just. There's crimes that you'd be like, oh, you, you should definitely get jailed for. And people are just like easy, like, oh, that's it. And then there's stuff that you're like, ah, like 
There was something about I don't even know the specifics, but it was a truck driver or something. Oh, and uh, his brakes malfunctioned, and he killed like a, a certain amount of uh, yeah. unnamed people. But it's like, is that really his fault? But then you'll get somebody to shoot up something. They'll be like, oh, mentally ill, let yes. him go, and you'll be like, and they've made comparisons to that too. That all the people that have escaped justice, you know what I mean, when and and other people that didn't necessarily they did something wrong, but it wasn't within their power to stop mm -hmm. it. And that's like with the whole uh you know, Velasquez thing, like do as a beast, you know what I mean? Uh according to like the I won't I will say the police report, but that the shit that was published basically it, you know, somebody uh, uh allegedly molested somebody in his family and you know, they, they happen to catch each other in traffic and somebody got boomed on. That's street justice for me. That's <laughs> that's the that's the best type of justice you can get. Free Kane. Yeah, and the other dude he should have it shouldn't have been in AM. He should've he should have went full ways. Yeah. And, and and soon as you know, when when I thought like when they first said something about the attempt that it was just fist. Mm, that's what I but thought. But then then I seen shooting, I'm like, Hold on, who's this fool out here shooting? Because I never known him to be like yeah. Out there, controversial gang banging. He nah. ain't like, like the uh, what's the other dudes? The the Diaz brothers. Yeah, you know. About. Uh, we already Stopped know. And yeah, people. Yeah, we already know where 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 their uh, you know, affiliation yeah. lie. But you know, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna say it's like free free Velasquez. You know what I mean? He don't deserve Velasquez. to be in there. Honestly, the dude is lucky he got shot because he did not want those yeah. hands. I seen when I started watching him is when he was there. Anderson Silva, John Jones was coming. Rampage was a monster. Peace. You do not want that overhand right from Kane. He could wrestle and he'd be knocking people oh, out. Oh, he's a beast. Uh, and that's funny. You know what I mean? It's like it, hopefully he, he's able to get up out of it, you know, with, with, with a slap on the wrist. And, and hopefully the dude that, you know, uh, allegedly did something to his family. But hopefully if, if, if it, if you know, something, if you did do that, hopefully next time, you, you know. We'll just leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> Free Kane, and if he don't get out, if he if he ends up getting locked for a little bit of time, put money on his books. Let's start a GoFundMe, yeah. something, and you'll be good. Yeah. Trust that. Like just just with yeah, they that like that thing. in there. They, they do. They check the paperwork. They're like, oh, you did that. That's that's like you give him an extra little little scoop on chow or something. Yeah. Like it's definitely taking out the trash. You know what I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, we'll basically leave it there. I'm your boy Zod. And this is Boss Savvy, my co-host. Boss Savvy, come on. And welcome to the Goulash. 